manually adjust the height of your seaming rollers, you'll first loosen the two tightening bolts on the arm. This requires a one quarter inch Allen wrench. Next, you can grab the knurled part on the roller and with it overlapping the chuck, roll it down to where it touches the lip. Then, using the thickness of your thumb, you can roll that knurled part around the thickness of your thumb for first operation, then tighten it back down. To adjust your second operation roller, you'll repeat the same steps as your first operation, but go twice as far on the rotational adjustment. According to American International Tooling, the height difference between the bottom lip of your roller and the top lip of the chuck on first operation should be four thousandths of an inch. For second operation, it should be seven thousandths of an inch. <laughs>